Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, how do I create a mannequin from scratch? So for those that don't know what mannequins are, this is what you're seeing right now is I've got a mannequin in edit mode and it's a really great way to pose and figure out maybe a scene if you're going to have multiple characters within a scene. So using the uh, options up here with our move, scale, and rotate, I often will use rotate and this will allow me to kind of start putting this particular mannequin in a pose. So you can see how quickly you can work. So the beauty about the mannequins is they're 100% customizable. So we can create our own mannequins from scratch. So I want to cover how we do that in this video. So where the mannequins can be found is in our light box. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our light box. Within the project tab here, you will have a mannequin folder here. So double clicking these, you'll see that there are several types of mannequins. So you can see even if I load this mannequin here, you'll see that there are various poses here happening within this scene and these are all mannequin figures or you know we can load this one here for some pizza and there you have that so you got mannequins and you got a dog so you can really use mannequins to figure out posings maybe figure out a scene so they become very very helpful so let's go back to how do I make one of these mannequins from scratch so I'm just gonna load this default mannequin right here and let's start making this from scratch Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to select a Z-sphere. Okay, now that I have the Z-sphere selected, I want to tell ZBrush every time I draw a Z-sphere, I want it to be replaced by a certain piece of geometry. So what I'm going to do is go here within the tool palette, and I'm going to go into my adaptive skin menu, and I'm going to turn on this use classic skinning because there's actually two skinnings for adaptive skin so we want to use the classic skinning mode now what I want to do is I'm gonna to switch to the move mode which is me just hitting the W key that's the same thing coming up here and hitting that move button you can see that the W key is the shortcut to that so the main reason why I'm doing that is the minute I select the actual Z spheres you can see these two buttons come alive which is insert local and insert connector mesh so the local is referring to the z-sphere and the connector mesh is referring to the chain that's in between every z-sphere that we draw out. So I'm going to say click on insert local mesh and you can see now the tool palette opens and ZBrush is asking, hey what piece of geometry do you want to use every time you draw out a z-sphere? So I'm going to use this polysphere that we got right here which is pretty low polygon it's not really high polygon so you can see nothing will really happen at first so what I'm going to do is go back to draw and let's go ahead and go in symmetry mode so I can see the two circles when I click to the middle you'll have one green circle so now I'm just going to click and draw out a z-sphere all right and then we'll switch to move and pull this z-sphere out so now this is my selected z-sphere and then this is our chain in between the two z-spheres so what I want to do now with that z-sphere select and I'm say the connector mesh I want it to be this shape right here so you can see what happens now is that automatically gets replaced so from here on out every time that I draw a z-sphere or a chain you can see that the geometry is popping into place so here now are my spheres so wherever there's a z-sphere there's a sphere and in between every z-sphere there is that piece of geometry that I applied in the connector chain and so as you can see as I move something out it gets adjusted right so this becomes really handy to make some custom things so our root z-sphere will never change so the things you want to be focused on here as well is when I draw now down here on the base this connector mesh is in essence not in any way, shape, or form connected to this chain up here that we've been drawing. So now I want to select this far Z-sphere, which again I'm doing that by switching the mode and then tapping on the Z-sphere. Then I'm going to go here, select a connector mesh, and we can select again something else. Maybe I want this shape. 
to be on the bottom portion of my legs. So now as I'm drawing out here, you can see that the z-spheres themselves are still changing to a sphere from here on out. And every chain here on the bottom, though, is using a different piece of geometry than on the top. And this is how you can start creating your own mannequin within ZBrush. So your next step will be is I need to start sculpting on this. So what I got to do is hit the A key, which what that's going to do for you is put your adaptive skin in preview mode. So if I turn on my poly frame here, you can see the geometry that we're getting is actually sphere, sphere, and then the pieces of geometry that I've selected for in between the chain. Right now my density is turned up to two, so we'll turn that down to one and you can see the polygon count that I actually am getting here. So now all I have to do is go ahead and click Make Adaptive Skin. ZBrush will create a new tool here up in the tool palette. I'll click on that and now I can get to sculpting however I want. So we can turn our symmetry mode and start sculpting on this. And you might want to decide, hey, let's turn this into a Dynamesh because the mannequin just kind of got me there and now I can start using Dynamesh on top of a mannequin anytime. Go ahead and read Dynamesh, my surface. So hopefully that helps to show you how you can create your own custom mannequins and use them for posing, creating a scene, and then start sculpting on it. Thanks for sending in the questions and please continue to send in all of our questions in our Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you so much and happy ZBrushing.